Hi and welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to possibly do this to your car by integrating RGB LED strip into your gauges and controlling them with a Bluetooth RGB controller. First, you'll need to remove the gauge assembly from your car. This can and will vary from make and model and I'm not responsible if you break anything. Secondly, once you have your gauge assembly out, begin to disassemble it. Eventually you will need to carefully remove the gauge needles from the assembly. This will also vary from make and model, but with mine, I just needed to apply even upward pressure since they're just pushed onto the pegs. I've used two forks before, and it worked rather well. And be very mindful not to move the post once the circuit board is removed. The next day. Continue disassembling the gauges until you have the circuit board removed, but be warned that if you do not desolder the stock LEDs from the circuit board, both the original gauge lighting and the new lighting will light up, and that could cause interference. For example, when my headlights turn on, my gauge cluster lights up green, so I had to desolder most of the green LEDs from the circuit board. I didn't show the process of desoldering the LEDs because that will be an entirely different video, because when I filmed this, I had already finished this mod a few months prior. I'm pulling my old lighting out and redoing it all over in order to create this video. Once you have your gauges disassembled, plan out a route to lay the LED strip. I had to drummel a few slots in order to allow the strip to snake through the housing, and I also had to drummel out an exit point for the wiring. Once again, this will vary greatly from make and model. Once you have an idea how much LED strip you're going to need, cut it to length and begin the process of sticking it in the gauges. It's easier if you only pull back the paper on the adhesive for the section of strips you're working with. Don't expose all the LED strip adhesive at once. Some sections may not want to stick because of bends or whatever, so I use some hot glue to encourage bonding and trouble spots. You're also going to want to apply pressure onto the strips as the glue is drying so it doesn't come apart. I used a screwdriver to help me with that. If you don't have a glue gun, you can use super glue, but just use it sparingly. Once the glue is dried and you're happy with the placement of the strip, you can begin to reassemble the cluster, going in reverse order from which you took it apart in. Once again, being very careful and extra attentive when putting the needles back on. Then it just becomes a matter of putting the gauges in the car and wiring them to your RGB strip controller. Here's a wiring diagram I made explaining how to connect the LED strip controller box to your car. I'm going to go over the basic steps, but I do plan on doing a full video on these in the future. I used a fuse tap with a 15 amp fuse and wired that to a 15 amp 3 prong 12 volt rocker switch, which I used to provide power for the LED strip controller. Pay special attention to the polarity of the power and ground going to the Bluetooth box, otherwise it may not turn on. Then it's just a matter of running the signal wires from the Bluetooth box to the LED strip. 
Once everything is finished and working properly, you will have customized a part of your car that you use every time you drive, making it that much more enjoyable to use. I'll leave Amazon links in the video description to all the products I used. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, then please consider subscribing, as it is extremely helpful in making this channel more popular. And as always, thanks for watching, and leave any questions or comments below. And until next time...